Hey, Sean is just like it sounds. I field questions from the tribe, and they usually start the question with the words, Hey, Sean. This is another two-parter, so we're going to take the easy part of the question first. person who asked this, maybe they believe both of the questions are related, and I, be I feel that they are two very different things. Finding your why is something that you should have already been thinking about prior to even becoming a nurse. The, uh, the wording of why you are an ICU nurse. This one you got to dig deep for. And I think sh this person is referring to a suggestion I made a while back about motivation. When things are tough and you're lacking the motivation to do the job, I suggested remembering your why. And this isn't why you're in the ICU. This is why you are a nurse, period. Why did you decide to become a nurse? Why are you doing this job? My why is I want to impact lives. My why is motivated by a personal experience when I was a patient. I love providing service to others. I love being able to impact someone's lives, life in a positive way. So you gotta find the why. You really, you truly have to find your why because there are gonna be dark times ahead. There's a lot of crappy things we're gonna go through, a lot of crappy things that are gonna be thrown at us and you gotta have an underlying positive motivator to continue to do this job. And I really hope your motivator isn't making money because if you decided to get into this profession just to make money, woof, I'm sorry. Your why could be what excites you about this profession. What, what is your passion? What, what drives you every day? And as, a, as an ICU nurse, it could be making the save. It could be playing with the latest and greatest toys. It could be being part of taking care of a patient who's really sick. So you really gotta dig deep because everybody's why is different. I mean, what lights that fire in the bottom of your belly? What gets you excited about doing this job? You know, talk to colleagues, talk to mentors, talk to bosses, talk to anybody so that you can start digging deep and discovering what your why is. Talk to, talk to other people. Find out what their why is. And maybe their why is something that you share. All right, that's the first part of the question. The second part of the question is a little bit more cut and dry in my world. New nurse, when will it click? When will you have that aha click moment and what we're referring to is when do you go from a conscious effort to a unconscious or subconscious effort in layman's terms when do you go from having to think about it to it being reflexive the hard pill to swallow is that everybody's a little different but if I had to give you a number if I had to give you a time frame it takes about two years, and that is the general consensus. It takes about two years to feel comfortable in your new nurse skin. And this is a very generalized time frame because every nurse is different. Some nurses will have it click earlier in their career, and some nurses take much longer. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with either. Don't get discouraged if after two years you're still having difficulty. Every, you know better than anybody as a nurse, as a nursing student, everybody acquires knowledge and skill in a very different pace. And it, it will come down to effort as much as exposure and experience. Becoming a new nurse, learning the tricks of the trade, getting your feet wet, these are not passive actions. 
You need to get your hands dirty. You need to dig in head first and bury yourself in learning everything you can. Become an active observer as well as making sure that you're not allowing things to pass you by. Once you get past the six month to 18 month mark, it's time to start asking for things. It's time to start actively engaging in your learning experience. I've said this once before and I'll say it once again. Do not rely on anybody else to improve your nursing practice. When you see that there's something going on on the unit that you've never seen before, get off your ass and go learn about it. The first two years of your nursing experience, your nursing world, you need to never, ever be comfortable, ever. Step outside your comfort zone every single day, learn something new every single day, ask questions, and actively engage in improving what you did yesterday. Find those nurses that you work with that you aspire to be like and mimic what they do. Ask them, how did they do it? Oh, and recognize those nurses that are just there to do the bare minimum and stay the fuck away from them. You feel like it's not clicking after six months, after 12 months, after 18 months, after two years, then you need to reevaluate what you're doing and fix your shit. And sometimes that means changing jobs. Yes, sometimes that means getting out of the environment you're in. For me, I got really cocky after my first year, and then I had two very bad patient experiences that knocked me down a notch or two. And it took another year and a half, two years, before I became comfortable in my nursing skin. Yeah, so it, it took me almost three years, almost three years and two jobs later to feel comfortable and confident in what I was doing. And guess what? And then I became a nurse practitioner and I'm now on year five. I'm just starting to feel comfortable. Always growing, always learning, never settle, ever. And if I had to give you my best piece of advice for learning things or mastering things, is that teach it to someone else. Teach what you know to the next person. That's when you know if you're ready. What's the tribe have to say? What, what's the time frame? When did it click for you? When did it, do you see it clicking for others? Leave your message down below.